ask a question. Since we see that by Esme, the names of the Pesulim are reminiscent, they remind us of the names of Pesulim by Trefes, of the Behemoth, so maybe we can learn from the Trefes of the Behemoth some more Pesulim by Esme. They're not enumerated here. No, do bears like Simon and Tefer Mahu. Suppose they have created signs of Tefer on the Esra. Now, Tefer is only for a living thing. But since we see there is a parallel, an analogy between Esra and other things, like Nikkev and this thing, so maybe Simon and Tefer of the Hemet would make it possible on Esra. But I give you an example. What do you mean? My, from a way, what's the question? In the, we're talking about peeling a dinner like this. A behemoth that lost its height by illness is a trait of a Unless a certain area of skin remains for which a seed could regenerate itself. But if it lost too much of its height, it won't live. So also, that's the case. So why should the Rabbi ask? We learn about an essay. Nikola, it's possible. The bottom line previously, not on nickel is possible. Tomorrow he said on the top, all the cool of exhaust. If it's all nickel, all peeled is possible. But suppose only part of it is peeled and part remains, it's kosher. Now, how much? That's a question we discuss. But we've already learned that already. So nickel is a psul by Esri, just like it is a psul by Behemoth. Makes it right. So why ask any question? Again, in Nicholas, if you're asking if the essay is peeled, if it's possible, like the height of the Haman is peeled off, it's possible, it's an evil one. In is it? They're talking about if they have a split, or they didn't like this. Suppose they split in the Gargamas, in a windpipe. It's possible if it's split all the way up and down. So you're asking, Will the slit on the side of the essay make it possible? It's an isdak. So then we learn, this we learn. If the slit of the essay goes up and down, the whole length of the essay is possible. In naked, is you worried about a hole in the essay? Just like a hole in the heart of a behemoth, or a hole in the brain of a behemoth makes it paper. Will a hole in the essay make it paper? So then learn. We learn all these things. What's all this question? You must be talking about something that we didn't mention until now. What is it? That's all we're asking. And so the Gemara. She called me boy What is all this question, Kidula? The following halacha. We're going our way as follows. We take out the lung of the behemoth. Outside, it's sound. But inside, we hear that it's pouring. The contents are liquefied inside the lung. Now, lung is not liquid inside. But suppose this lung, we hear, we shake it, and it's liquefied inside. It means the uh, tubes have melted away. Shea, it's still kosher. It's still kosher. Even though you shake it up and down, the lung sounds like it is liquid, it splashes around. Oh my, and all it says, only when is it kosher? The kaim is simple, no, that its tubes all are in existence. Only the pulp of the raya melted away. The pulp of the lungs. But the tubes have to be there, otherwise, the behemoth couldn't live. Or oh, there's a sick behemoth. In any case, but the difference between a sick baby or a baby that's treated. And once the tubes melt away, then it won't be treated. Now that's the case of a lung. Now the question is, what about an essence? Suppose the essence outside looks good. When you shake it, it sounds like a liquid inside. Again. Who the kaima simpana? Only if the tubes of the lung remain intact. 
all over Crimea, you see, but I think the tube don't remain intact, this type. Oh, come on. Here, in the case of Ersek, what should it be in? Should you say, deal me, horse, maybe over there, whoo. We say, it's kosher. If the tubes are in existence, it's kosher. The low shoulders will have it. Since the air doesn't have any power over the lungs, the lungs are inside. The lungs are protected from the outside atmosphere. They're in a friendly atmosphere inside the body. So therefore, how do they avoid it? It'll become well again. As long as the tubes are in existence, even though the rest is liquefied, we're taking its kosher, but it'll come well again. Once it's still, if it's inside the body, concealed inside the friendly atmosphere of the body, it'll get well again. That's why it's kosher. Ah, well, here it is, like, the shoulders were obvious. Air rules over me. It's exposed to the air. Yes, you hanging on the tree, but it's exposed to the elements. Sluthi, Masachas, it's going to run away, even though the tubes, the ovaries inside are intact. Maybe it will rot away, and it's considered a dead pele, and it's not fit to be ate to the essay. Over there is kosher if the inside tubes are in existence, because it will regenerate itself, because it's inside the pavement. But here, even though the ovary is in existence, it already did not melt away by the answer. The pulp splashes around the side, but we can feel that the ovary inside is still intact. Is it kosher or no? Maybe he, he has to be a spousal despite the fact the ovary is intact because it's exposed to the elements. So the question is, if the ovary inside the answer is intact, if the ovary melted away, then he says, it's surely possible no better than a behemoth's lung. If the ovary is intact, maybe it's just as good as the behemoth's lung, and therefore it's kosher, or maybe not. Say that aside. So the question is, the chadre hazera inside the Eslik are still intact, but we hear it splashes inside anyhow. Maybe it's possible. That's the question. Toshma. Eslik tofua. Eslik that's swollen. Soruach, and that's rotted away. Now, what rotted away is, we have to see what it means. Kovush, if it's pickled, means it's put into water and it's remained there 24 hours, it's a puzzle esque. All these are puzzle esque right here. Because Kovush, anything pickled for some time, the same as cooked. It becomes waterlogged, saturated, and its whole structure is already falling apart. It's simple. Soaked for 24 hours in water. Sholot, or if it's boiled. Kushi, if it's Ethiopian esme, the black esme. Lava, or if it's a white esme, albino, white esme, is also possible. Omenuma, if it's spotted. All these are possible. It goes on to say, esme kekada, if it's on like a bowl, it's possible. Ish englim afatil. Also, if it's a Siamese twin S, the two S grow together and they're joined together, it's called, because tia means twin. Afatil. S like habaisa, S like that's very much unripe, very small S not, not ripe at all. We keep a place of Hormat Rashir. Give a little bit food. You can raise the Esri in a form. Let's say, when it was still a little bud, you surround it with a form. And as the fruit developed, the fruit shaped itself according to the form. So now you have an Esri shaped, let's say, like a bird, shaped like a triangle. But they grew according to its form in which you put it. We are so on came in has made it look like some other creature, not like an essay. It's possible. Now these things we'll discuss some of them later. But now I want to understand what's meant by Tofuah and Sarah. 
the Torah we have learned at least Tofua which means blown up, distended, and Surah means what? My love, they mean Tofua maybe a chutz. Tofua means it's blown up from the outside. It looks from the outside blown up. Doesn't mean anything is wrong inside, but it's blown up. And Surah means that's rotten inside. Do you think? How do you know you shake it? You hear it as rotten inside. Therefore, it states that it's possible and it doesn't make any qualifications. Maybe if the over inside is still intact, this caution, or just that anything at Sorua, it's rotten inside, is possible. So we see the essay, the difference from a day along. It should be kosher even though it's rotten inside, along the tubes are intact. But else I get seen without any qualification. So rough, it's rough. It's possible. That's what he wants to say. Or he says, love. No. He did in the hoods. So Fuach and Sukkah both talk about the outside. But inside, nothing is mentioned about inside. There it could be kosher. What's a little kasha. Why do you need both on outside? Oh, the tofa. If it's blown up the esrei, swollen, if it's not rot, it could be solid, and it doesn't smell bad, and still, if it's swollen, it's possible. And ho the sona, if it's rotten outside, smell its uh, odor of putrefaction outside. Even though it's not blown up, it's also possible. But outside, the skin of the earth like, is rotten. But suppose outside, everything is normal. On the inside, you can feel by shaking it that the contents are liquefied could be kosher. So therefore, it ended without any proof. Say that inside, Toshman. 